September 9th, 2020. New events. Leighton Strikes. Essentially, Leighton is going to spawn all over the world except for in and on the ocean, in Valencia, and for some reason on Valencia channels. You can kill Leighton to get a box that can drop up to a duo Leighton Power Stone all the way down to some Cron Stones. Should probably expect some Cron Stones. <laughs> Tuvala Enhancement Aid. Basically, you just get refined magical black stones for being logged in. Loyal attendance rewards refresh. Yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. Mysteries of Summer, a tale of a Fallen Kingdom 2 follow-up events. NA gets an item drop rate boost of 30%, EU gets 20%, world boss drop rates are doubled. Great Summer Festival, Palong additional spawn and compensation challenge. Since Termian is over and apparently some NPC didn't spawn last week, they put him back in the game for this next week so that you can turn shit on. There are some new instruments for shies in the game, recorder, cymbals, harp, piano, and violin. Also, there are the shops at Kaya Pier, Ancano Inner Harbor, and Lake Flondor, where you can buy these, uh, where you can buy these instruments and also get, like, some sheet music or something that is about the lore of the game, I don't know, something like that. They made what seems like some pretty nice changes to the Pit of Undying. You can now convert energy into energy potions through an NPC in Valencia. I don't know what this change means. We already had the queue at the 1v1 arena and battle arena. Maybe they just mean that they fixed it or changed it in some way. I, I have no idea. This also is a confusing change. You already could tell how many consecutive wins you had in a row, but maybe they just mean they changed like the UI or something. There's now challenges to obtain a Pentuvala Ring and Pentuvala Earring that will be achieved once you hit 60 and 61 with a season character. You now cheer for Remnants of the Rift because everyone loves that. Warrior buffs, Ranger buffs, Tamer change, Witch quality of life improvement, Small Awaken Wizard buff, Mewa bug fix, Ashashin Awakening in Succession comes next week. They fix the description on a lot of his skills. You now get the Rebellious Spirit Crystal by combining the Black Spirit Crystal, Awakened Spirits Crystal, and Voltaire Spirit Crystal. It basically kind of combines all of these effects and also gives you 5% skill EXP. Still not better than Corrupted for late game players though. They reduce the weight of trash at these spots. You can now use Weapon Exchange Coupons immediately on a new class instead of a month after like it used to be. They added more snakes and increased the chances of snakes to spawn on Paddock's Island. Fixed some bugs with the Kagtum and Shere Khan special spawning event. Mudster now runs around between Fogans and Nagas and you have to find him to kill him now. They added green and blue grade gear as outfits. I think if you've completed all of the quests already, you're going to get some boxes. I saw people on Reddit saying open the Balanus one first. I don't know why, but hey, that's what they said. You can now complete a quest to change the name of your horse, some interface changes, some bug fixes. I just kind of feel like something's missing. I feel like there's there's supposed to be something right here. You know? Just right here in between these two classes. I just can't just can't think about what it could be, you know? Um, Rez, did you want to talk about these Berserker changes? Uh, or or lack thereof. Talk about they, they they think apparently they have fixed the bugs that they caused, which hopefully they have. Fourth time's the charm. Yeah, something like that. Predatory hunt one through absolute have been modified to work properly. Yep. <laughs> that's what a I mean. That's a buff. There's not much. There's not much to say <laughs> other than hopefully they finally fixed it. That's a buff. The bug where the movement distance in the air was shortened when using Giant Leap backwards has uh, been corrected to be the same as previous movement distance.